Hey everybody, it's Broha, and welcome to the ultimate 2014 guide to setting up your Blue Yeti microphone. Now this video isn't only directed towards Blue Yeti users. The tips and tricks that I'm going to be showing you guys can also be applied to any other microphone out there. So throughout the duration of the video, we'll be covering five main steps that are really going to help you improve your sound quality with the Blue Yeti microphone or any other microphone. Step one of this process is going to be setting up the microphone. And this step is specifically for the Blue Yeti microphone since I don't have another microphone to demonstrate. Step two is going to be the positioning of the microphone where you place your head accordingly to the mic. And this step is for any microphone out there. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the microphone is. It could be a headset microphone or it could be a microphone that is equivalent to the Blue Yeti. But this step is for all of them. The next step is going to be about the software that we're going to need as well as getting our mic ready and set up to record the various settings that you'll need before you actually start recording with your microphone. Step four is going to be the editing stage. This is where we're going to edit the audio clips that we're recording with uh, adding various filters to them to make the audio sound just a little bit better. And finally, the last step is going to be the exporting stage. The final settings that you need for your audio to have it completely done and ready to be placed in a video. So for the first step, all you got to do is plug the mini USB that came in the box with the microphone into the bottom of the Yeti. And then go ahead and plug the USB into a USB port on your computer. And that is it. That is the first step to setting up your Blue Yeti microphone and on your way to getting better sound in your videos. All right, so let's go over the position of the microphone as well as the settings on the microphone. Warning, this spot of the video probably isn't going to look as good or sound as good because, well, I'm using my webcam to film because I have no other way of showing this. I don't have a tripod for my iPhone. As well, I'm the audio is being recorded through the webcam software, which really doesn't do the microphone any justice. Um, as well, because of the setting I'm using for this microphone, when I'm moving to the side, you're not going to be able to hear me as well. But this isn't exactly how you're going to sound all the time. After you've done all, this, all the steps in this video, you will have a nice sounding mic. So, First things first, position. Uh, it's a little hard to show you this, um, but <laughs> kind of hunched down. I'm about a foot away from the microphone, uh, mouth to the front of the microphone, about a foot, uh, I would say. Really, really close, not far away. Uh, I think the vo my voice, or any voice, just sounds better when it's really, really close to your mouth. As well, I have a little bit angled backwards because because I am playing so close to the microphone, I hunch over a little bit when I'm playing uh, my PC, so I need to lean it a little bit back so my voice goes directly into the microphone. Settings. Well, there's not much to it. Um, we have the gain. I have it at about 9, 10 o'clock-ish, a uh, little that's less than halfway up all the way. A lot of people tell you even like to go all the way. I think it sounds bad. I think it distorts really bad when you're that close, when you're this close. I could understand if you were really far away wanting to put up the gain, but then you're going to get everything else in your room making loud noises. Um, for the position, the only one you're worrying about is this one. Cardioid. Looks like a butt. I wish my webcam could do it justice, but it looks like the butt. Just remember that. It's the only one you have to worry about. All your voice, the only part of your the, the sounds in your room that are going to be recorded are right in front of you. Uh... And then on the front, you really don't need to worry about it. There's the microphone, and if you want to plug your mic into, you want to plug your earphones in your mic, you can do that. Last thing, a pop filter. Do you need one? Uh, up to you, really. If you want, if you want one, great. It does lowers your P's and B's, makes them not spike as high. If you don't, you really, really don't need one. But this one I bought off Amazon, eight bucks. It was worth it. Just eight dollars. Not much. Um, it's kind of long. I wish it wasn't as long as this, but I'm going to show you how I install it to this oddly shaped microphone stand. So, let's see if I can get a little bit more down and put it to the side too. So, this is the right side. 
it has a clamp. You can just clamp it right onto that right side after I loosen it up a little bit. I, uh, about right into there. And you can just do some little bit of righty tighty on that. Make sure it's on there tight because it will kind of get flimsy on you. And that looks good. And then you can just kind of position it right in front of the microphone. And I'm probably really quiet right now. Whoops. It came loose. It came loose, guys. There we go. Right in front. Perfect. Looks good. Gives you also, it makes sure you keep that one, it, it makes sure you have that one distance, one foot of distance of space all the time. Uh, but that's pretty much it to positioning it. Uh, guess I'll go over it really quick. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Uh, cardioid. One foot of distance, angled back a little bit. And you can clamp on this specific pop filter to the right side. It's going to kind of fling out a little bit. Uh, it doesn't get in my way. It might get in your way. Um, and then it just angles right into the front of it. And that's it. That's it to this part, guys. Okay. So now before we start using software and recording our audio and editing our audio, we got to do something really quick, really fast. We're going to head over to the volume tab or the volume icon, whatever, speaker tab, and head up to recording devices and head over, make sure you find your microphone and mine is the Yeti, hit properties, head over to levels and make sure it's at 20. Any higher, I mean, you could probably get away with going a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but any bit higher and it does start getting really distorted with how close you are to your microphone. So 20 has been the number that I found that works really, really well and sounds really well or really good. Uh, but after that, hit OK. And then the other thing we need to do, it, it depends on your preference. Um, head over to the icon again, hit playback devices. And if you have the Blue Yeti and you want to use headphones plugged into your Blue Yeti, you're going to want to click on the, the Yeti, Yeti speakers and set it as your default. So then the sounds of your computers will be playing through the Yeti, through the headphones into your ears. But if you're like me and you don't want that, make sure it's set on your default speakers. Uh, just hit default on that. It might already be on that. So just leave that and hit OK. And that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go over what program we're going to be using to record our audio as well as edit our audio. And it's a little program called Audacity, which I assume most of you guys have probably heard of or already have. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get it, which is not difficult at all. Uh, you're just going to want to go to your browser. Uh, I will have a link to the website to make this process about five seconds faster. But type in Audacity, not with two Ds, and open up the first link. And Audacity is actually for almost every single platform out there. Uh, anything above Windows 2000 and anything above Mac OS X 10.4. Uh, so go ahead and download um, Audacity, which currently is in 2.0.5 as of this video. And after you've downloaded Audacity and installed it to your computer, you're just going to want to go ahead and open that up. So here we are in Audacity. There is... A couple things we want to make sure are there as well as changing one thing. Uh, the first thing we're going to change is this project rate right here. And the reason we're going to change this, at least for Blue Yeti users, um, which I am a Blue Yeti user, um, I don't know about other mics, but the project rate, the Blue Yeti records at 48,000 hertz. And usually by default in Audacity, it's opened up at 44,100. So when you are about to record, make sure you always up this up to about 48,000. Uh, it's just a higher quality, and it's what the mic records at. If you're using a different mic, may do some research on what your mic records at, and then go ahead and up it up to whatever that might be. Um, and if you can't figure it out, I would just go ahead and leave it on the default, which is 44,100. Uh, but for Blue Yeti, make sure that's up at 48,000. Uh, then let's take a look at all the other settings up here that we have. Uh, we have the microphone. Make sure Blue Yeti is selected. 
Um, for if you want mono as stereo, it's really not going to make a difference. If you want to record in mono, that's fine. If you want to leave it on stereo, that's great too. I leave it on stereo. And then for the speakers, doesn't really matter. Um, but up here, we have our volume and our microphone tab. Um, the volume doesn't really matter what you have it on. I have it on 0.22. Just didn't really want it loud. As for the mic, we're going to want this. We're going to want to bring this down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it, it, it got stuck. If it gets stuck like that, I guess just keep switching between these. Um, and you're going to want to have it at 0.19. I don't know why it was wanting, not wanting tra to transition down, but uh, I just kind of flipped by. I just kept switching between these, and it let me move it down. So I have it on 0.19. Anything around that is great. Um, I do that because I'm so close to the mic anyways. Having it so loud really is just going to distort the audio. So let's go ahead and record a clip. And I'm going to show you how I record my clips of audio. Um, this is the record button, the re big red record button. And before we record the clip, we're going to have five seconds of silence in our room. Uh, this is going to be used for the tool of removing noise in your room. And what I like to do in this five seconds that you're recording before you're talking, I like to tap on my keyboard as well as click on my mouse a bunch. Because when we use the tool to get rid of background noise, we can get rid of those clicks as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey everybody, this is Broha Likes You and welcome to this tutorial video. Uh, so there's my clip. You can tell by these little, uh, little peaks that these are where I was clicking the mouse and tapping on my keyboard a bunch. And so now we can get rid of that as well as any other background noise that you might have had, like a fan. Uh, luckily, my room is actually pretty silent at the moment, so I didn't really have anything. Uh, but let's hear this before we go ahead and edit it. Hey everybody, this is Broha Likes You, and welcome to this tutorial video. All right, great. We got that uh, our uh, samples uh, audio clip right here, and we're gonna first thing we always are gonna do is get rid of the background noise, and we do this by you're gonna want to select that first five seconds that you had, highlight it, head up to effect, and go down to noise removal, and then you're gonna want to hit get noise profile. So now it has the profile of what the sounds are, and they're gonna remove it from in here too, which I didn't actually click in the audio, but I would have if I was recording a gaming video, so it would remove that sound. But to remove uh, the background noise now, you just want to double click on this file, it's going to select it all, go back to effect, hit noise removal, and then hit OK. And now as you can see, it's silent, and let's listen to it again. Hey everybody, this is Broha Likes You, and welcome to this tutorial video. Awesome, so the, the background noise is now gone, so we can highlight this section where there is no sound and just hit delete on the keyboard. And now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to compress our audio, which is just going to make the peaks of our sounds just a little bit higher and the lows of our sounds a little bit lower. And so how you're going to do that, you're just going to go to effects, compressor, uh, leave it on the default settings. I've really not messed around with the settings much because um, I found that these ones were just fine for what I was looking for. And just hit OK. And as you can see, the peaks went a little bit higher and let's listen to that now. Whoops. Hey everybody, this is Broha Likes You and welcome to this tutorial video. See, as you can tell, I was it just seemed like I was a little more energetic and just a little bit louder just because of that effect. And the last effect we're going to use is make sure you're double clicked on your audio file. Um, the effect is bass and treble. Um, you're going to hit on that. We're not going to move our treble up because it just kind of sounds bad on the ears. It's really high pitched if you move it up. But we're going to move the bass up. And the level I have found to be the nice sweet spot is 6.0. So if you, it's usually 0 by 0 by default. You're going to want to move that up to 6. And that's just going to lower our tones a little our bass a little bit which makes your voice sound just a little bit more richer and just a little bit lower um, in general which is nice for YouTube because high voices do get a little little irritating and they can kind of hurt your ears um, so make sure it's up at 6.0 and then hit OK as you can tell when a little bit changed just a little bit down and you're gonna want to hit let's check or <laughs> you don't want to hit we're gonna check the sound now how is it, how does it sound now 
Hey everybody, this is Broha Likes You, and welcome to this tutorial video. And boom, that is our audio clip. That is the whole audio editing process. That is all you're going to need to do. You really don't need to do much other than that if you have set up your mic properly. Uh, and if you recorded just like how I told you to, you should have a nice audio clip just like this. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to save this and export it. So we're going to hit File, Export. And I have a nice folder called Audio Tracks already. Um, the best, I have not tried any other one, um, any save type, but WAView is a very high rated exporting file. Um, it does come out quite large in size, but which is good, which is definitely good. So the default is WAV signed 16 bit PCM. Um, I'd recommend just leaving it on that none of these i really have no reason to switch this so you're just going to want to save it as that give it a name i'm just going to do mine zero zero for now um hit save and hit okay and that is all it is to it that is how you edit your video or <laughs> not your video your audio i'm getting a little getting a little out of hand here uh, i'm talking too much uh that's how you record your audio and edit your audio so Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I helped you guys out a little bit. If you guys are interested at all in seeing some of the past videos I did, I'll leave two links to some of them, but there's definitely going to be a lot more coming out and more tutorials on the way too. Uh, if you don't mind leaving a like on this video, if it did help you, I, uh, that would be really appreciated and it would mean a lot to me. Uh, anyways guys, peace!